start you off with a quick tip. If you have a small space, but it's usually cluttered or disorganized, if you were to organize it, get rid of the clutter and everything has a home and a space, I almost guarantee you that it's gonna feel way bigger once it's organized and feel so much better. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're gonna to be talking about organizing your RV. Uh, we've done a lot of things to be able to organize ours to get the most amount out of it, and we've seen some other fantastic ideas. So we're gonna share those with you today because we ask a lot out of our RVs. We're basically looking for almost the same amount of function out of a small space like this as we do a house, but these are much smaller and mobile. So what can we do? What are some of those ideas that we can implement that just really make that space work and function so much better? So uh, let's get started and dive right into it. So let's start in the kitchen. Oftentimes in a kitchen, you wanna take use of that vertical space. You'll see that common thread throughout a lot of this. Is sometimes you'll have a cabinet like this, you only have one shelf right in the middle. So you have the bottom shelf, and then you have the middle shelf. So. If you can add more steps in between there, you can get more layers of things to be able to store in there. Uh, sometimes you can add those that have slats on there that give you an extra stand to, to give you an extra shelf in there. Sometimes there's a, a tension kind that you can put in between there and it'll give you tension across there and you could put lighter things. I wouldn't put like cups and plates and heavy things like that on it, but if you needed a, a shelf for bread or something like that, those tension ones come in really handy. They even have accessories so you can add things below the shelf. So if you wanted to like put your saran wrap or foil or sandwich bags underneath here, they have a shelf where you can add that to the underside so that you can store this without taking it up and a, a whole layer of shelves. So you could just slide it right in there. It'd save a, a ton of space. That'd actually work really good for us in this application. Might have to add that. So really the idea is taking command of that vertical space inside of the cabinet. Anything you can do to have a home for those things rather than it being cluttered somewhere else, has a home in here, organized, and then when you close the door, it's hidden. So let's look at the silverware drawer because that's gonna give us ideas for other ways to organize the RV. So you can see that we just have these really simple dividers to be able to hold the, the utensils, the forks, the knives, the spoons, uh, and it just keeps everything in its own little cubby. And everybody knows about these, being able to keep these in their own spot. But you can take this a step further. So if you have other drawers walking through RVs, sometimes there's a, a large drawer. And if you wanted to store anything else, you can take this same idea and follow it there. And you're not stuck to these little utensil compartments. Uh, they have some great things out there where they're spring loaded, you order them to the about the right size and they spring load into place so they're not shifting all over. And then you could put dividers on those dividers. So you could really make any shape or space that you wanted to inside the drawer much beyond utensils, giving you those little homes for some of those things in your RV that you're looking like, where do I put this? Those dividers can give you that place on where you can put those items. So taking use of the drawers and dividing them up to give you maximum use out of them can go a long way. Another clever idea I've seen in the kitchen is people using those magnets for their cutting knives. It doesn't take up any space inside your drawer. It doesn't take up really any space on top of the countertop. It just is stuck to the side of the wall and you have them available and ready when you need them. So that's a, another clever idea. And all these things, are, they're really not like earth shattering. They've, they've been around before, but sometimes it's just that, that idea or that thought presented so that you can be like, oh my goodness, why have I never done that before? So uh, a simple thing like a DVD case, when you look at DVDs and you see how much space those DVD cases can take up, and then you look at how much space if you were to put it inside of sleeves and be able to just zip it up and put it away, it takes up way less space. So being able to consolidate some of those things can be a huge space saver. So let's look at some things in the bedroom of where we can save space in there. I almost forgot about this little area just for the bedroom. We keep some of the boys homeschool stuff in here. This isn't all of it, but uh, we keep them in bins so we can separate things by subjects or projects that they're working on. It just helps us keep it organized in here. And you're going to see that theme go throughout more of it. Having bins to be able to contain what you want to organize can, can go a long way. 
So here in the bedroom, before we get to closed storage and some of the other things that we have around the bed, uh, we have an interesting way of storing things underneath the bed. So you always have the ability to open up underneath the bed and be able to store things underneath there. And a lot of times people will put hard sided totes under there and be able to store things in, which is great, not a bad idea. Those hard sided totes are really good for like outside storage bays or like the bed of the truck, uh, somewhere where you need something a little bit more rugged, cleanable, you're not worried about it getting dirty. It's gonna be on that rugged end of the spectrum so that you can use it in those environments. But underneath the bed, we actually use something very, very strange. We actually use this carry on luggage that we needed to get uh, a little bit ago. And it was super inexpensive for luggage. It was like 20 bucks for this little guy. Um, but it just got me thinking that you don't always have to have a hard sided tote. You can do something that maybe has a zipper or a fabric on the side, but we just use it because it has additional pouches here. I can put things in there like uh, accessory cords and a, a few things that I don't want to throw away, but I want to keep on hand. And then you can have stuff in here that you're storing some camera equipment and uh, whatnot. So this works really well for us, but this was on hand. I'm not saying you should go out and buy carry on luggage to keep underneath your bed, but there's some cheaper options than buying those hard sided totes to go under the bed. So there's some soft sided things that if you don't fill them up all the way, they can kind of nestle in there and they don't have to take up exactly the same amount of space as what the maximum capacity of them are. So uh, you can get a, a pack of them for relatively inexpensive and you can put different things in there and then you can work on how you configure it or how it kind of squishes in there. So some of these softer sided things might be good for clothes or blankets or uh, things like that that you're storing underneath the bed. I know the luggage is super strange, but it's worked really well. So the other thing that you can have for a soft sided idea are those collapsible fabric cubes. So if you're not using them, they collapse down real simple and easy. They're not heavy and when you need them or want them or set them up uh, you can have cubes so that way you can have your things somewhat organized and then uh, those are placed under there as well so uh, those soft sided cubes are an excellent way to be able to organize things. So uh, on the side of the bed, thinking about those soft sided cubes, we have some uh, basically fabric shelves that we have inside the, the hanging storage area here so we can make more use of that vertical space. So you can see these soft sided shelves in here. They can be a little bit weak. So if you needed something a little bit stronger, uh, those compression style shelves that I had mentioned earlier, Link's gonna be down in the description to everything that we talk about today. Might actually be really handy. You can use those in there to, to create a shelf at whatever height you want it. These fabric ones uh, are working well for me, but uh, you're limited to exactly the, the length that those are and putting them in there can be a little bit more difficult. But those, those tension ones would work perfect in here because I'm not gonna hang anything in here. It's, it's way too short for that. But being able to have more than just the the one shelf in here and everything stacked onto that one just be a pain to get to everything. So having it like this makes it very easy. And then taking uh, advantage of the use around the edge of the bed, a uh, similar kind of material, that's what makes me think about it, is you're able to have like that, that shoe caddy or the side of the bed caddy. Uh, so making use of that space and adding those little cubbies where we could store shoes, maybe hiking shoes or flip flops or something like that, that you're not using every day work really well in that area. And when it comes to clothes, it's actually, uh, I like the idea of layers even just not having to worry about the organization of too much stuff, sometimes having less stuff is better. Let me show you what I mean. So when it comes to saving space on some of our clothes that we hang up, uh, a lot of times we're thinking about jackets. And since we RV full time, our winter jackets are on here. So uh, whether it's just the summertime and you need something light for a, a cool evening and then layer up to get to the cold winter nights. So um, like, I'll throw on like a, a light merino wool layer, or I like to use something like a, a light jacket that I can use as a layer. So you layer this up with uh, something like another jacket, uh, then you can start really getting to those colder temperatures and still being comfortable without having one big bulky jacket. So uh, grab a down jacket and you can put that on. And then you can have a rain jacket that you can put on over that so that the whole system becomes uh, weatherproof so that if you're out there in the rain, then you don't have to worry about it and you're good to go. You don't have 
multiple jackets of different weights that are gonna be multiple heavy jackets. You have a layer system that you can put on and be able to have those different steps in between. So it works out really well. And so really when you look at it, that you look at any of those individual pieces and it's not a huge jacket. So uh, looking at my down jacket, the, the biggest one, it just compacts down into this small little pouch. So it really doesn't take up a ton of space. So you can see that it's easy to get creative and to come up with different types of ideas. And I'm sure there's a lot more different ideas that are out there that I didn't even mention in this video. That's just the ones that I have seen that I think are fantastic and ones that we have done being able to organize our RV. So if you have some other tips that you think would be fantastic to share along with other RVers, put those down in the comment down below. And if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. If we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video.